So, slight change of venue, I'm actually downstairs. Um, I was reviewing some of my old videos and it dawned on me that I'd never mentioned that I'm, I'm diabetic. And uh, I don't know if you'd noticed in any of the videos, I have a, I wear an insulin pump. So, excuse the gratuitous crotch shot, but see it looks like a little pager. But uh, I thought somebody might be interested in it, so I figured I would do a video. Because I'm attached, you can see the little tube. Uh, through an infusion set that I change. I change it about, I don't know, it's like every three or four days. So prior to this I was giving myself shots and um, uh, it's like the more shots you do the, the better control you have and I was up to uh, like five or six a day which uh, it gets really tedious sticking yourself that many times a day. So I started out like I don't know, I got this when I was 20, so 20 years ago it was, I was doing two a day, and control wasn't that good, and my doctors, I keep finding doctors that are kind of up on all the latest stuff, and they keep pushing you to do, you know, more and more shots, and get better and better control, and so I finally caved in and got the pump, and um, it's really cool, because you just have the, the set that you move, you know, every few days, well, three, four days, and uh I can just punch a button every time I want to do something instead, so it, um, it works really well. But uh, I thought somebody might. I think you can see the infusion set on my on the shower video too. So I thought I would make a uh, quickie me changing my infusion set video. So sorry for the weird camera angle. I'm downstairs in the bedroom. Ooh, look! You can see the archer over the bed. Uh, yeah, back in a second. Yeah, so here I am in the bathroom. Um, I guess you can see this. Me and my fat stomach. We zoom in. So this thing, uh, see it clips on, there's a little, this little thing comes off. So I can go swimming or whatever, take a shower. But it, um, this thing sticks into you. And there's a, let go! I don't know if you can see, it come around this way. You're watching through the, the dirty mirror. See it's got a little plastic thingy that sticks in under your skin. So part of my problem is that uh, you can buy these in different lengths. They have different length. They call it a cannula, the little part that sticks under your skin. And I've got the shortest one I, I can get. And like the only place on my body, zoom out, that I have enough fat at all to do this is just right here. Everywhere else is like, there's no way. You can't, I don't know if you can see. I just, I don't have a lot of body fat. It's just... It's ridiculous. So, uh, I keep saying I want to lose weight here, but if I got rid of any of this, I would be screwed because I'd have no place to do the pump. So, anyway, rip the old one out. It winds up leaving a little mark, which goes away in a day or so. But the old one comes out, and the little pump thing looks like this, a little pager sort of looking deal. And the infusion set consists of, you got this part, which it's like a little vial that holds like 1.8 milliliters of insulin attached to a little tube and then this part that sticks in. So, Step one, rip the old one out. Step two, pause the video. <laughs> Step three, unpause the video and throw the vial of insulin on the floor. So this is what the insulin looks like. Normally it doesn't have all the bubbles in it. I just dropped it. It's just a clear liquid. So take one of these, it's a reservoir. Make all this stuff with tons of disposable packaging to clog up the landfills. That snaps onto there. I don't know if you can see this. Do this in front of the thing. Ooh, very exciting. Yeah, so you just fill a little reservoir with insulin. I'll do this down here so you can see what I'm doing. I guess I'm going to edit most of this out because this is going to be really boring if I don't. Try and get as many of the bubbles out as you can. So the problem with the bubbles isn't that the bubble is going to cause a problem, it's that when you try and dispense like a unit of insulin, you're going to dispense a little bit of air plus the insulin so you don't get as much insulin as you think you need. So diabetes describes the condition where, um, how would you put this, without any intervention your blood sugar would uh, become dangerously high. 
and there are a lot of ways that can happen. You know, if you have like pancreas cancer or something, and they take your pancreas out, you'll become diabetic. I have type one diabetes. I have adult onset type one diabetes, which is really rare. It's usually you get it before age 15. Um, so the variety of type one diabetes that I have is associated with a virus. Oddly enough, I got a virus when I was like 20. I was just sick as a dog, and it it triggers your immune system to produce antibodies that wind up targeting the insulin producing cells in your pancreas. So even if I had like a pancreas transplant or something, it wouldn't work because my body would just destroy the cells again. So I'm stuck doing this, which really isn't that big a deal. So we have our little vial filled. This stuff's trash. And we take our little they call it an infusion set. So you've got just a bunch of tubing. This is the little part that sticks into you. This part goes on here. It locks on like that. We rewind the, rewind the pump. While we're waiting for that to rewind, you take this, it's like a it's an IV prep actually. It's like slightly sticky and gives the, the thing a better place to stick to. So we pick a site. We'll fanning it to get the alcohol to dry. This thing's rewound. So we just plug this in here. Well, the plunger's sticking out a little bit. The plunger's still sticking out a little bit. There we go. This goes in here. Then it goes, come on. Just a prime. We prime until insulin starts coming out the end of this thing. Which is right there. So then comes the fun part. I don't have a problem with needles, but some people do. So this thing's like adhesive backed, so we pull these little tabby dues off. This little blue thing that it's in is a, a spring-loaded device that helps you insert this. Man, and so naturally I would get one that's going to like back. So I need to grab this from the other end. Uh, you must be kidding me. Come on. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see. It's got a pretty good needle. And uh, trying to insert this thing without this little spring loaded deal takes more nerve than I have. But you just position that over the little spot that you swabbed and got these two little tabbies that you press. Uh, no, nah, it doesn't hurt. And there you go, you can see the see the needle a little better there. So you do that, press that down, and then you do a little fixed prime to prime the cannula. That's it. Hide my flabby stomach. And I'm I'm good for another four days, so that'll be somewhere at Disney, so I'll have to bring all this crap with me. So anyway, that was that. Talk to you later.